Next up is basic voicemail operation. We'll start by calling Kim. Now Kim can choose to press her to voicemail button you have reached the desk of and then we'll leave her a message. Please leave me a message and I'll call you after lunch. Thank you. Hi Kim. This is Bill. I'm leaving you a message. What time is the meeting this afternoon? Notice as soon as I hang up, her voicemail light comes on. Now all she needs to do is to press her message button, which is also glowing red. We'll notice there is one voicemail message in her listen folder. One new message. If there were any old messages or saved messages, they'd be listed here. So let's listen to the new message. One. And then we press play. Hi, Kim. This is Bill. I'm leaving you up. We can go back and play it again. Hi, Kim. This is... We can pause it. This is Bill. I'm leaving you a message. What time is the meeting this afternoon? Or we can delete it, or save it, or copy it. Let's delete it for now. Now the message is gone. Which brings up another interesting point. Let's call Kim again and see what happens. Two, oh, one. Notice Kim can also ignore it. What ignore does is it silences her ringer, but she still has time to pick it up if she wants and then talk to Bill. And then that works. Then she drops the call. So that's pretty much, let's just go over that once again. 201. She can answer it. She can go directly to voicemail. You have reached the desk of Kim Williams. Or she can choose ignore or just drop it and make it go away. That also goes to voicemail this time, the way the system is programmed. There's further features in the voicemail. For example, you can leave your greeting. So you can go to greeting. You can listen to it. You have reached the desk of Kim Or you can re-record it if you don't like that one, and that's where you'd press record. Hello, this is Kim. I'm not here. Please leave me a message. Hit stop. Then you can listen to it again or re-record it, but you do need to press the submit key and that will save it. So let's experiment with that. We'll go use our home screen. We'll call Kim again. She'll say go right to voicemail. Hello, this is Kim. I'm not here. Please leave me a message. So you can see it did go to the newly recorded greeting. I did not leave a message this time. There are other things you can do under the voicemail or message button. Message isn't used that much. That's simply a way to leave somebody a message uh, in their voicemail box without actually calling them and then you tell it which voicemail to go to later. You can skip over that. We typically don't do that. Name, what that does is you put a header on your voicemail so when if something when you're calling in for your voicemail remotely it'll actually name the voicemail box you're working with. So you press name. Kim Williams. Whoops, I gotta press record first. Kim Williams. Listen. Kim Williams. And submit to save it. That will help. You need to do that if you're using a dial by name directory. Go back. Let's we'll see what else we can do under messaging. If we scroll down, you can find out we can also change our password. That's also used for remote operation when you're logging in through, let's say, a special phone number where you can pick up your voicemail messages remotely. That's when we would set the password. More often than not, companies will allow you to get into your voicemail from your own phone only. Some companies will want you to enter a passcode to get into your voicemail, and that's where you would change it here. In this particular system, the way we have it programmed, you don't need a voicemail. Only if your company wants that, we'll put that in for you. And that's about it for the messaging. Just bear in mind, you need to record your name under the message button there, otherwise you will not be in the company directory.